What's up guys, you're watching Success Diet, the show that educates, motivates and inspires. Our mission is to help young entrepreneurs to achieve their dreams and to be better individuals of society. Today we'll be talking about the 7 things you should know when starting a business. And as usual, don't forget to show your support by clicking the like button, share, subscribe and click the bell icon for more notifications. And let us know what you think about this video in the comment section. With that being said, here are the 7 things you should know when starting a business. Number 1. Do less talking and more action. Keep your ideas to yourself and take some time to meditate upon your goals. Talk is cheap and no one cares about what you're planning to do. People will take you seriously when they see your actions and not just a bunch of plans that you never seem to fulfill. I'm sure you know of a friend or a co-worker that keeps chatting up a storm about their plans and after a couple of weeks or days, they have a new plan and they completely forget about the plan they had in the previous week. People like those never seem to move forward in life. One in every 60 persons that say they are going to do something actually take the time out to get it done. The rest are just wishful thinkers. And if you are one of those wishful types that don't follow through on your dreams, then it's time to make a change if you want to be successful. Number 2. An idea isn't worth anything unless it yields results. In other words, your idea is only worth a billion dollars after it makes one billion dollars. Nowadays, everyone have ideas, but only a few actually execute on these ideas. Besides, what good is an idea if it stays in your brain and never put to good use? Les Brown said it best, the graveyard is the richest place on earth because it is here that you will find all the hopes and dreams that were never fulfilled, the books that were never written, the songs that were never sung, the inventions that were never shared, the cures that were never discovered, all because someone was too afraid to take that first step, keep with the problem or determined to carry out their dream. Ideas are also worthless without good execution. A good idea with poor execution is also useless. It's very rare that good ideas and great execution meet and they almost never happen in the early stages of business. If an idea sounds good to you, it doesn't mean the world will think so as well. I recommend that you seek unbiased opinion and don't just listen to friends and family. You need people that will tell you the hard truth if you're planning to be successful. Number 3. Understand that no one cares about your business more than you. Your business is the product of your dreams and you can't sit around and expect others to care for it the way you do. This is something really important to consider in the early stages of your business journey, especially if the business have multiple founders and if you're going to partner with anyone, make sure that they want it as bad as you do. Number 4. You don't need money to start a business. You are the business in the beginning. A lot of people think it takes a lot of money to start a business and because of this they never start. Most people look at the final stages of the company with huge buildings and offices and thousands of employees, raw materials and multiple products but they never seem to know that all successful businesses started off with a small step. If you want to start a successful business, you don't have to come up with a grand idea or a brand new one either. Just start with something that is already working and takes limited time and resources. In the beginning, you will have a lot of time. What you should do is leverage your time for money and use that money for resources. Number 5. You must make sacrifices. What most people don't realize is that in order to run a successful business, there will be a lot of time, energy and sacrifices that they will need to make. Most people start a business because they don't want to work for a boss and because they also want to be a boss. But they don't realize that in order to be a boss, you have to work 10 times as hard as your employees, especially in the early stages. 
when you have no employees and you are the one that will have to be doing all the work. You will realize that you are no longer working 8 hours a day but 16 hours a day every day and you can hardly sleep at night because you're so worried about your future. Creating a company can be very stressful and that is a sacrifice that you will have to be willing to make. Number 6. Fail fast and learn quickly. Things won't always go as planned and so you should be ready to fail and learn from them. There are many things that you have yet to learn and there will be plenty of obstacles but if you're serious about building a successful business, you should continue going. Failure is necessary for success. That's how you know if something works or not. So don't be afraid to fail. Many people fail because they give up too quickly and because they lack faith and they never learn from their mistakes. They fail because they never adapt to changes in the economy. Number seven, find the right mentor. The right mentor can save you years of struggle and wasted time just because of the simple fact that they have already walked the walk and they have already been down the road before. They know where the potholes are and they know what's ahead and you would be a fool not to leverage their knowledge while trying to build your business. Analyze them, keep them close and study them. Think of mentors like power-ups. Life is so much easier if you have one. The mistake young entrepreneurs make is that they try to get a mentor too early when they just have an idea. A good mentor will want to see the results first. They won't waste their time and resources betting on a sailboat with holes in it. This is why it is so important for you to have already have some sort of experience so they can see where you're heading. Just remember, a goal without a plan is just a wish and by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. This has brought us to the end of another success lesson. See you again when we talk about the 7 reasons why businesses fail.